I never imagined, neither in my dreams, that uh, two years ago when Victor proposed me to have this challenger to come to Alaska, eh, it's going to be uh, real, and now it's real. We got our goal and we are here. We have had the, the most wonderful adventures, all types of adventures. Here we are in Alaska. This is our third interview uh, that we promised we were gonna uh, give where we got to Alaska. We made it after uh, 8,000 miles from Puerto Montt in Chile. It took us a year and a half for the 8,000 miles that we've been able to to sail. The main reason of doing this is that <clears throat> normally everybody goes to the east coast of the United States and very very little very few people come to the to the west coast so we decided to make this trip uh, and uh, we've had very 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 good experiences if you want to compare uh, uh, the south of Chile with Alaska there's points of comparison for example the wilderness the, 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 how everything is green, the mountains and the snow, the whales, we don't have bears, but there's differences here. Of course, you know, the charts in, in, in Alaska work and, and, uh, they, 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 they are very precise. So that's very helpful for someone to be sailing. The other thing that's important to say is that we've had the most one, wonderful and fantastic weather. We've been very lucky with the yeah. weather. Yeah, uh, the past three weeks, I would say, you know, sun all, all over, we had 27, 28 degrees Celsius with no clouds at all in these beautiful places and the, the misty arms and the, and, and the misty fjords and then whatever, all the places that we were.
big surprise that we were both not the same year, of course. Uh, our birthday is the 7th of July, and two of our, one daughter and one son with their husband and wife came as a surprise to see us, and that's what's... We were not, we, we didn't know that they were coming, yeah. so I really thought that I was in the middle of a dream. Yeah, uh, almost <coughs> have a heart attack. I almost <laughs> had a heart attack to see my, to see my daughter, you know, arriving and shouting, etc., and giving me kisses. I was, I was very surprised. Th this wouldn't have been possible also if we had not been uh, with the help of uh, Diego Soto, he 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 he's been uh, with us for the whole trip, and uh, he he's he's a very nice person, and we've been able to make a fantastic team. So <clears throat> he's very trustable also. So uh, I think that it is important to mention him as well. Yes, cheers, Diego. You're a nice person to have. It has been it has been a very nice experience. I want to add as well that it it couldn't have been possible to to do it without a vessel of 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 a quality as this one. Uh, I would say that that these are very very good vessels, very trustable, and that can take you anywhere and. Uh, the, and, and we've experienced that with Gran Quito after more than four years that we've owned it. And uh, so it, 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 it is, you know, a very, very reliable vessel for all kinds of weather and of seas. <laughs> continue. What is want, the next? I, I don't want uh, to hear it. <laughs> the next challenge is the Virgin Galactic. 